All right, Diego, what's up? I'm just outside the dual arena on Unicorn Way. Yes, sir. You ready? Uh, yeah, sure. Go better. All right. Nah. Nah. I really don't want to waste that shield on these guys because there are a lot of powerful things. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Can you take the left one? Okay, that should be okay. Hopefully. Unless it does the absolute minimum. <laughs> yeah. Which let's hope not. You are just greedy, aren't you? Or, or that, which is the absolute minimum. Yeah, Yay. that is the absolute minimum. <laughs> okay. I am going to use a treasure card because I want to have some fun. Ow. <laughs> nice. I like that thing. It's kinda cute. Yeah, it's kinda cute. You are just having a fizzle party, aren't you guys? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come on, break the fizzle! <laughs> Hello, you. This is a normal ice spell, but it's a treasure card because it's more powerful than the normal one. Goodbye. Don't come back. Alright, third time. Third time's a charm. Go. She's also still drawing. <laughs> Oof. Good job. Lost page of storms. Oh my goodness, Steffi, it's amazing. Wow, you look fashionable, my dear. Look at all those shields. It's very good. Very good indeed. Okay, I'm gonna mark this place because they're gonna send us back here, so bam. Also gonna go home because our home is a dorm room in Ravenwood. It doesn't really look very good right now. I suppose I could furnish it with different things. No, Brady Nightbringer, I will not be your friend. You're so mean. But she can't talk. It's so difficult to fight with them if they can't talk. Fair enough. And a Ravenwood banner. Smack. Oh, hold on. Move. There we go. Uh. Thought it could be at the center of the bed, but apparently can't. Okay. This is our dorm room. It's small, and I'm gonna buy a house as soon as I can. But I actually came here because of Simeon. You recovered the lost page of storms? Amazing! How nasty were those spell lit screamers? I'm glad you dealt with them. Take the lost page of storms back to Harold Argleston at the library. I'll keep an eye out for any more spell lit screamers. Well, there's still a lot more on Triton Avenue because they tend to spawn. I'm here if you want to come. Here being where? Simeon. Okay. Or are you at Susie's? 
No, I'm coming. I was at... Actually, I could just... Hang on. Mark here, come to you. I was at Vlad Raven Eye. Oh, right. You need stuff too. Okay. <sighs> to the librarian, and then to my teacher, and then back to Triton Avenue. Good day. We could also do Diego, he called us. Right. While we're here. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I'm first gonna go to Arthur Weatherfield. To kind of continue this and then go to um, Unicorn Way. Whenever Diego calls you, uh, he's just doing tutorials to teach you how to fight better. I think there's three tutorials that I remember. I don't know, I remember two. I remember the one at level six, and then there's one at level 20, and then there's another one that uh, talks about critical stuff. Also, whenever you're here, you should try to pick up as much mana as possible because this place is full of mana. Also, full of people who will steal your mana, but whatever. Come okay, on. Diego, I will gladly do a tutorial. Aha! Hello there, my friend. Headmaster Ambrose has asked me to show you more of the art of dueling, no? Most excellent. This will take but a few minutes. Enter the door to the arena to begin. Alright. Welcome, my friend, to the dueling arena. You wish to learn more of the art of dueling, no? Outstanding. Approach the puppet, and we shall begin your lesson. <laughs> I still have my pony. <laughs> okay. Let us begin by explaining power points. You may call them pips for short. Power points are magical energy. Gaining pips allows you to cast more powerful spells. Every round, you will receive another pip. You can see the number of pips each participant has by looking at the circle around their feet. Nearly every card has a pip cost. It is the number in the upper left-hand corner, yes? Your clicking is very loud right now. You can only cast a spell if you have enough pips to do so. Better? Yeah. Let us start with one spell with a pip cost of two. But you only have one pip, so you cannot cast this turn. You will have to pass. You can also use a zero rank spell if you want can to. Can you see still hear it? Yeah. Good. You have Let me see if I can use the pen pip. instead. Well, if you're skipping stuff, you're going to use the space bar. With two pips, you can now cast the troll spell. Ah, but look, you have drawn another card. Ah, this is an enchantment card. There, now you card. can't hear anything. <laughs> Thanks. Enchantment cards can be used to improve the other cards in your hand. Let me show you. And now click on the troll. Look what has happened. The card has been enchanted to do more damage. Now it is a treasure card. Unused treasure cards go back into your deck at the end of the duel. Now since you have two pips, you can cast the troll at the puppet. One pip, yes? Let us give you another hand. With only one pip, you cannot cast any of these third rank spells. You will need to pass for two rounds. But wait! 
There's another way. Let me show you. No, I'll go back to the mouse. The pen is just kind of awkward. At the beginning of each round, you will have a chance to get a power pip instead of a normal pip. Power pips count double, but only for spells in your class. Now you have one pip and one power pip. That means you can cast any second rank spell that you wish. Or you can use a third rank spell in your school of focus. One point for the pip, plus two points for the power pip. See? The card for your school is now available to you. Cast it at the puppet now. This is really weird because all of the schools have the third rank spell except this one. The skeletal pirate is rank 5. Usually, the rank 3 spell for death is a banshee. The skeletal pirate is a rank 5 spell. I don't know why that is, but they are wrong in the tutorial. Look at another type of spell card. A ward can be used to protect you against future attacks. I like these little cute drawings of what exactly they do. <laughs> this is a fire ward. When you cast it on someone, it will hang in front of them waiting to be activated. The next incoming fire spell will trigger it. Let me show you. Cast this fire ward upon yourself. Have you read the doodles? Uh, I haven't been keeping up. But I read like the beginning of them. You see, the fire ward has activated and helps you resist most of the damage from this attack. Let's try one more hanging spell. This one is called Ice Blade. <laughs> Cast it on yourself and see what happens. are the opposite of wards. Wards affect spells that other people cast on you. Charms affect spells that you cast on other people. Cast this frost beetle at the puppet. Let's see how the charm works. You see? Your ice beetle has triggered the ice charm. Now the ice beetle is more powerful. Now let us cover one more type of hanging effect. The aura spells. Aura spells affect the target over multiple rounds of combat. For example, the fire elf spell will cause 240 points of fire damage. Yeah, that's not funny. Three rounds. <laughs> Let's see how it works. Cast a fire elf at the puppet. We already saw the fire elf. Gustafi cast one. Helpful, I suppose. Oh no, my horsey ran out. Whale! Why must you taunt me with your whale? Oh wow. Level 90. What the heck are you doing here? Probably waiting okay. to duel someone. Maybe. S uh, Susie. Oh yes, yes, of course. Go teleport there. I'm I'm at the other guy's. What's his name? Oh, okay. Vlad. So I need to run for a second, and then I'll be at Susie. Oh wait, I need to go to. Duh. Okay. Back up the teleporter. There we go. Hello, you. Most excellent. These will do just fine. Well, thank you. Now I need you to gather some straw. I think I saw some field guards hiding out in the haunted cave. Go and collect some straw from them. We will do that next video.